In this video, we're gonna go over a very simple kettlebell exercise, and that is gonna be the kettlebell deadlift high pull. All right, so one of the mistakes I see people doing with this is going too slow and breaking the movement up. So that's why I'm gonna kind of right out of the gate and do it pretty uh, swiftly, because if you do this exercise too slow, it's gonna feel awkward. So I don't really wanna break it down that way. I'm just gonna kind of jump right into it. So basically what I'll do is I'm going to extend up. As I extend up, I'm gonna drive my elbows up get this kettlebell to about my chin. I don't need to get any higher. Keep my elbows above the kettlebell, and then I'm gonna bring it back down, tap the ground, and extend up from there, okay? So I'm here, getting, my uh, getting set up in a nice deadlift position. From here, I'm going to extend up, bring this kettlebell to my chin, back down, tap the ground. If you wanna make this a little bit more squatty, you can do that, a little more bend in the knees. If you wanna bend at the hip a little bit more, you can do that. Neither one is right, neither one is wrong, okay? From the side, it's gonna look like this. <sighs> Squeeze my butt at the top, maybe coming up onto my heels. If I have a heavier kettlebell, you might need that, okay? You don't wanna come off of the ground completely, like you're jumping, but if your heels come off the ground, that is okay, especially if you have a heavier kettlebell, you might need that, all right? Make sure you're squeezing your butt, letting your legs do the work there. That is your kettlebell deadlift high pull.